This episode of See Tally Run is brought to you by the Nationwide Children's Hospital Columbus Marathon, Run and Fun, and MTech Results. <laughs> I'm Olympian Carrie Tellison and today I'm interviewing my best friend Katie McGregor about her marathon workout. So let's get after it. All right Katie, so you just jump in a marathon for a workout. Tell us about that. I got a text from you the Thursday night before the Medtronic Twin Seas Marathon yeah. and you're like, I'm running. So what made you decide to do that? Um, well, I was supposed to do a long hard workout on Friday, probably 23, 24 miles worth. and. Um, you know, it's just fun to have the marathon here this weekend and I was excited for you to run and I really wanted to watch everyone, but at the same time, I thought it would be just really fun and inspiring to get in there and run with everybody. And besides the fact that one of the things I really need to work on during training and especially during while I'm racing the marathon is taking in fluids and energy. Mm -hmm. And so um, I thought it was a really good idea for me to, to jump in and really practice and focusing on taking water, mm -hmm. the power aid that they had out there, and just making sure that I was taking that kind of stuff along the way. Tell us exactly what the plan was for going into the marathon. Uh, well, my workout plan was for the first 10 miles, kind of start off about eight minute pace, and then slowly progress every two to four miles, get down to about 6.45 pace, and then for the next 10 miles, do a little bit of a harder mile, just under six minute pace, and then the next mile float a little bit over six minute pace. And then from that point on, just coast it in <laughs> and do a little bit of a cool down. <laughs> so tell us how it went though. I mean, um, we started at 6.50 pace. Yeah, I think we got a little excited. Um, I didn't want to start the marathon without you. I just <laughs> felt like you were there. So yeah, I we've knew, warmed up for how many years yeah, together? It's hard not I to. I knew it was probably not going to go that way. But so we ended up starting out about seven minute pace and we probably got down 6.30ish or something, but then the workout pretty much went as planned, and then I didn't slow down as much as I probably should have for the cool down, but just like everybody else, I just wanted to be done. So if someone else wanted to do this workout, like say in a half marathon, they could do like three to four mile warm up, sure, and then six yeah, miles, get into it. one on, one off, and then three to four mile cool down. Yeah, exactly. So I you mean, can definitely mimic it. Yeah, it was actually, I think, somewhat of a confidence builder for me because I know I still have a lot of work to do yeah. uh, before Calendar National Marathon, but um, it just, it gave me a little bit different perspective mm -hmm. of 26.2 miles and I'm, I'm still going to be nervous and still have a little bit of fear for it, but at the same time, um, you know, it's just, everybody, you know, everybody struggles with it mm -hmm. and it, it can be fun too. It doesn't have to be miserable and I don't have to look at it as, you know, this crazy feat that I need right. to accomplish. It can be fun at the same time. Thanks for joining me for my interview about Katie's marathon workout. Get after it. Hey guys, if you like this episode, check out ctollyrun.com for even more videos, including interviews with elite athletes and training videos. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube or iTunes. And don't forget to get after it.